It's a word on, and then he also used this ribbon to um, to hold those pages together so that he could then turn and hold a bunch of them at the same time. Yeah, boxes, yes. So you're, you're welcome to kind of uh, borrow some of our copies as well <laughs> to read from, from the original. If you can decipher his handwriting. Yeah. Uh, this isn't original, this is made out of the 16th century for the museum to show the kind of um, activity that was, the pattern in particular. Uh, yeah, that's right, it's a tent. <laughs> 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 Just to Yeah. <laughs> Actually, by the, by the end of the reading for the new yeah. uh, well, the, 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 the page that they were using on stage, well, they were almost well up to that spot that you could stand around the table. Um, so they, they're some well used observations. <laughs> It was a dressing room, and I suppose some furniture. Um, well, I think I think just that because they are so complicated. Um, because what you see on the surface is not necessarily what's going on underneath. Um, but he's extraordinary at, at, um, at creating a balance in his characters of, of some really not very nice characteristics or appealing character traits. And yet at the same time, you're kind of compelled to, to, to follow that character or that storyline because you, there's something about you that likes them. Um, and he's very good at that, um, at that balance of very, very three-dimensional characters. Um, and, and also, I mean, um, as I said before, a lot of his, um, his females ha are so complicated and have such tragic stories. And, um, you know, tragedy um, and that le level of conflict makes for good drama. And um, there's lots of stuff to kind of um, hang your coat on 
and uh, you know throughout the story. So um, yeah, it's been it's been wonderful to have the opportunity.